In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. <coughs> Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the virgins and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, blessed Junipero Serra, to count many American peoples within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry always and everywhere before all people the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well, and with a wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go on over yonder we will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued. Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheaf for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered. God himself will provide a sheep for a burnt offering. Then the two continue going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac 
and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh, hence people now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where, Abra where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should a pagan say, where is their God? I will, I will walk, walk in, in the, the presence, presence of the, of the Lord, Lord in the land, in the land of, the of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. I, I will walk, walk in, in the, the presence, presence of the Lord, Lord in the land, in the of, land the of the living. They have mouths, but they speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but they smell not. I will, I will walk, walk in, in the, the presence, presence of the Lord, Lord in the, in the land, land of the, of the living. living. Their maker shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk, walk in, in the, the presence, presence of the Lord. Lord in the, in the land, land of, of the, the living. living. The blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you as you proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God was in reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with 
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there, people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their fate, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you abhor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowds saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning I would like to reflect on the angle of the gospel that is often ignored. I would like to perhaps reflect briefly on the perspective of seeing the role of the friends. When I was reflecting this gospel, my attention was drawn to the fact that the the paralyzed man has no physical ability to seek out Jesus on his own. He needed to rely on the help from his friends. Not only was the faith of the paralytic needed for healing, just as important was the faith of his friends. We all need help from our friends, but this can be easily overlooked or forgotten in our hectic lives. I believe that relationships give life meaning, and they need to be continually cultivated, nurtured, and maintained. Jesus certainly wants us to have a quiet and faith-filled time for our reflections. But he also wants us to engage with our brothers and sisters and share life with them. Jesus not only wants us to serve others, he also wants others to serve us. You see, it is only with the help of our faith, families, and friends that we are able to navigate these troubled waters. How many times have you witnessed the healing power of uh, families and friends on someone who is sick? You see, a person's attitude and faith are very important components of healing, but directly affecting this attitude and faith are the relationship a person has formed and maintained over time with others. You see, this relationship determines who we are as people. They not only enrich our lives, but also enrich the lives of others. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are not meant to spend our days alone. When we carry our friends when they cannot walk, when we allow ourselves to be carried, we manifest that same kind of faith that moved Jesus in this story. You see, caring for one another in this way brings certain healing. Perhaps we can think of the times when we have been carried by others in our lifetimes. No man is an island. Friends are so important for our faith to grow. 
Today we are also celebrating the memorial of Saint Junipero Serra, who is a Spanish missionary who established the first mission in the United States in 1769. He then built 13 more missions in the next, I mean, uh, eight more rather missions in the next 13 years was also canonized by Pope Francis on September 23, 2015. In his homily, he pointed out the beautiful and inspiring quote by the saint, his maxims which inspired his life and work as a saying in which he lived his life by. He said, siempre adelante, keep moving forward. For him, this is the way to continue experiencing the joy of the gospel, to keep his heart from going numb, from being anesthetized. He kept moving forward because the Lord was waiting. He kept going because his brothers and sisters were waiting. He kept going forward to the end of his life. Today, with our friends, may we be able to say forward, keep moving forward. With the same trust in God's mercy that Abraham and the paralytic had, let us now bring our needs and prayers to God. For Pope Francis, may God bless him with strength and good health as he leads the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire their hearts and guide their actions for justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with any physical and spiritual ailment, may the Lord bring them peace and if it is will, healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may Jesus use us always as his hands and feet in the world let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the holy souls in purgatory, may God welcome them into, his, into paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special repose, uh, for the repose of Lorenzo Gaspigliano, and for the special intention of Gina Lupian for this mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that we keep silent in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we ask you to look favorably upon the prayers brought to you today through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With the Holy Spirit of God, try to immediately accept the bread of the Lord, Lord, and may our sacrifice be your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed Junipero Serra, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And... So, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. He who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may raise, praise, and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, have the mercy to us for your condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for me protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive him in my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith of which blessed Junipero Serra never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.